Let's do another algorithm. I'm on free code camp right now, and the one I'm looking at is intermediate algorithm scripting, diff to arrays. Compare two arrays and return a new array with any items but only found in one of the two given arrays, but not both. In other words, return the symmetric difference of the two arrays. All right, so let's see. Let me copy this to my code editor. So let's look at the example that they have provided here. Let me zoom in for you guys real quick. So the first one has one, two, three, five. The second one has one, two, three, four, five. So in this case, we should get back an array. The difference of the two should be that diff array because four is only contained within here, but not here. And let's say we had six here then because six is not contained in this one we should get back six comma four whichever order i don't know if the order matters or not but they don't they don't say anything about that so i'm gonna assume that it doesn't all right so let me erase this all right so the hardest thing i would say is figuring out all elements that's contained in both arrays but not repeating it meaning what are all the elements that's contained in both of these? And that would be one, two, three, four, five. And let's say we had a six here like before, then the union, uh, in math we call that the union of two sets, the union of them would be one, two, three, four, five, six. So I would say that's the hardest thing to do here. So one thing we can do is loop through each of the arrays and add it to a new array which we will call union if it's not repeated so let's do that first const i'm going to call the union of the two arrays the union and we're going to start off with the empty so we have two options we can either start off with an empty array or we could just get every single element from array one and just put it here because most likely I'm assuming that actually can I do that they don't say anything about a repeating element within a particular array so maybe this one has another three that is very possible in that case I don't want to add three twice here so this is what I'll do I'll just do it the typical way let's loop through both of our arrays for let i equals zero i is less than array one dot length I plus plus and if union I'm gonna use this um, array method here called includes the let's see the array at I that's the current index that we're looping through and I'm gonna say not union includes array I so let's let me explain to you guys what this does real quick this is checking, does our union array, does it include the current character that we're looping through in question? And if it doesn't, because I put this not up right here, then we go in here. Meaning, if one is not in here, then we're in here. If one is in here, then we will just skip this if condition. So if it's not in there, we will push to our union, our array our index, our uh, element, I mean. Let's copy this here. Whoops. And do the same thing for array two. Now I just made a mistake. This should be array one here. And that should be array one. This should be array two and array two, like so. So now, if everything went well, then our union array should have all the unique elements from both arrays. So let me just console log that real quick. Console log union. Let's see what we get. I'm going to run this and we get one, two, three, five, four. So that's good. Uh, and if I were to add a six here, I should see a six in there. Yep. I see the six in there. So that's good. So union is an array that has the unique elements from both sets, both arrays. Now that we have that, 
what we're gonna do is we're gonna loop through our new union array and see if only one of these contains the element within this set. And if that's the case, we're gonna add it to an array that we're gonna return. So let me first define the array that we're gonna return. Uh, the array, what do they write here? Return the symmetric difference of two arrays. So let's call this the sim diff. This will contain all the elements that's within that's only contained in one of the two arrays. So we're gonna loop through our uh, union array. I mean this one. Let i is zero. I is less than union dot length i plus plus. And the way that we check that the current element in care, uh, in question. And I'm just going to take that out of a variable. So let's do const current element is union at i. I'm just doing this because I don't want to write union i everywhere because that looks kind of confusing. So if uh, array 1 includes current l, and array two includes current l except i'm gonna put a not here so if it's in array one but not in array two then we want to add that to the symmetric difference sim diff push the current element another way that we could add it is if array two includes the current L, but the array one doesn't contain it. I spell this wrong here. Sim diff push current L. And this, if everything worked, should contain all the difference, all the symmetric differences. So let's just return that here and see if that is correct. So I'm going to console log the result of this. And hopefully in this example, we only get four. Yep. We just got four here. And if I were to add a six here, then we should see four and a six. And we do. So let's submit this. Run the test. There you go. All right, now I'm gonna do some refactoring. Uh, so notice I what I did here. I extracted out the current L because I don't want to write this union I here, 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 here. Uh, so, Cause that is pretty nasty. That's hard to read. Uh, but a better way to do this is don't do a traditional for loop like so, but loop through the array itself. So what the, what I mean by that is we could do this for const current L of union. So this, what this does is it loops through our union and the current element that is looping through where it's just contained within here. So we could erase this part here and that should work just like before. Let's test that. Yep. Six, four. And if I were to erase this, we should just get a four. There we go. So I could also do that here. Instead of doing these loops, we could do for const. Uh, I'm not going to call it current L this time. I'm going to call it for const L of R1 and replace these R1s with L and do the same thing here. Const L of R2 and replace this and that with L. So that is a bit cleaner and a bit easier to read in my opinion. Uh, now I'm gonna show you guys a whole new way to do this. So again, the hardest thing here in my opinion was finding the union array that contains all the unique elements from both arrays. But with ES6, there's this new feature that we could use to easily get that. And that is called the set. So I have it open here. Uh, it came out maybe a few years ago. 
I forget when, but that's not important. So what the set is, is the set object lets you store unique values of any type, whether primitive values or object references. So check this out. Concept one is a new set and we put anything that's an array like object in here. So one, two, three, four, five. And then what does that do? I'm not sure they have any good examples here, but I'll show you guys how I will use it. Let me just erase all of this. Actually, we don't need to. We'll just erase this part and we'll just do const union is a new set. And I pass in an array here and I just want to spread the elements that's contained in both of them. So we are just spreading both array. We're, we're essentially here, we're making a big array that has this and that. So what that will give us within this parentheses, not the set, but within the parentheses, it will give us all the elements within the first array and all the elements within the second array, like so. So that's what this does here. And the set makes a uh, makes it so that only the unique elements are contained like so and that should work so let me just console log union here to show you guys what union looks like what the set looks like here we console log the union here and we get the set one two three five four and just like a typical array, we could just loop through it like we are doing here. All right, so that was, and let me submit this. There we go, run the test. There we go. So that was diff two arrays from free code camp. Hey guys, thanks so much for joining me on part two of my free code camp JavaScript algorithms. Uh, I'm going to be releasing a new video each day, so please stay tuned and please subscribe if you guys like my content. Uh, I'll be posting one every day for the next few weeks and hopefully you guys like it. See you guys next time.